I wanted to talk to you a bit about needs um, today before we get into whatever is in the room. Um, and it's been a really interesting journey for, for me personally with the, the whole idea of needs. Um, I, I, I thought for quite a while that needs were just for people that were unconscious and attached to stuff. Um, <laughs> Because uh, that's really the kind of the, the context which the word needs is often used. You know, if it's a need, then it's an attachment and and you, you're needy or you need stuff or, you know, you're not at peace with how things are or, you know, there can be a bit of a stigma around needs. Um, but what I've seen the more and more I, I go into uh, working with people with healing stuff, with relationship stuff, with manifestation stuff, um, the foundation is your needs and you um, recognizing that you have needs and um, on knowing how to recognize your needs and uh, knowing that you're worthy enough to honor them and it's quite a funny thing because if you think about it someone com comes on a course or they just read a book like the secret or something and they're like i want to manifest blah and they're talking about manifestation they're talking about quite often wants okay they're talking about stuff they want what do you want might be the the book uh, a question from the secret or whatever but the thing with i i kind of had this realization the other day that one of the reasons why people find it so hard to manifest and attract what they want and uh create their desires their wants is because they haven't yet mastered the needs level yet <laughs> And it's actually really fundamental for you to, for yourself, but also if you're helping someone else, you need to make sure you've ma mastered the needs level before you necessarily try to graduate up into the whole instant manifestation, law of attraction uh, stuff. Um, I'm not trying to slow anyone's journey and I don't want to take anyone's magic away or anything like that at all. It's quite the opposite. I've seen that the manifestation, the healing, the improved relationship dynamics, um, they come from a number of things. And one of them is having boundaries, healthy boundaries. A lot of people are sick, stressed, have un, un, not, not the great relationships, uh, and they're finding it hard to manifest what they want is because they actually don't have, they don't have healthy, healthy boundaries. They don't know um when to say yes and when to say no they're often leeching energy all day in the wrong, or they are getting frustrated that people are stepping over their boundaries or taking advantage of them if they're feeling like invaded by other people's presence and stuff and the root of that is actually they haven't got clear on their needs yet they haven't recognized they've got needs because needs precede boundaries once you know what you need it's then easier to have a healthy boundary does it make sense? What tends to happen without recognition of needs and therefore having unhealthy boundaries is that we don't have them. We think everyone should know what our needs are. They think everyone should know what our boundaries are. These people don't know that. So they get like, they start stepping into our space and eventually we go and I get really angry or, or whatever because we've been invaded for a while or we've been stepped in for a while. But actually that wouldn't be necessary if we actually had healthier boundaries and for them we need to know our needs so little affirmations that you might want to uh, be aware of or th things to aim for would be i have needs <laughs> it's okay for me to have needs like you might need to start at fundamental foundational like re the recognition i have needs okay before you get into anywhere about deserving to have them or worthiness about them <laughs> i have them I'm prom I promise you, many clients you'll meet, and maybe you too, but many clients you'll meet won't even know they have needs. They won't even recognize it. Okay? So I have needs. The next step from no knowing that you have them is to be able to recognize them. So I'm able to recognize my needs on all levels. I'm able to recognize my physical needs, my emotional needs, my spiritual needs, my relationship needs. But here's a big thing I want you to know if you're enjoying this, keep listening because this is a big thing. You have unique needs and nobody else can decide what your needs are. 
And I think that is so awesome to recognize. I have needs. I have unique needs. I decide what I need. <laughs> Not anyone else. I have unique needs. I decide what I need. Do you feel that? Do you hear that? How many times in relationships might someone be telling you what your needs are? You'll say, you'll say a need and they go, no, you don't need that. Or that's needy. Or, or whatever. They can often say, you don't need that. And like, well, maybe I don't. And we start, <laughs> nobody can tell you what your needs are. And if it's a need, that's okay. okay. Now, there's a different time for different techniques and, and different conversations. If you want to talk about non-attachment and being completely like free of all that stuff, we can have that dialogue maybe tonight if you have questions about it and how it fits into all of that. But this is about the foundation. If you need to heal, you need healthy boundaries, you need to know your needs. If you don't want to uh, improve relationships, you need healthy boundaries. And you also, if you want to manifest, you need to have mastered your needs or or at least be, be well on the road to mastering them before you can actually graduate to the whole wants and manifestation level. I'm not trying to be limiting here. I'm actually maybe explaining why, if you've been struggling with the manifestation, how are you doing with your needs? I have needs. It's okay for me to have needs. I'm able to recognize my needs in all levels. I'm worthy of having my needs met. And here's one that can be tricky for some people. I meet my own needs first. Does, does anyone have any like selfish, like shivers in their, in their bodies where they're like, no, no. <laughs> well, there'll be times when you might need to help somebody else, you know, and help their needs and stuff, but it's pretty good as a default setting to be like, you know, I, I, I make sure my needs are covered because again it goes back to that old analogy how can you help someone with something you don't have how can you give someone something you don't have you can give them it for a while but it'll be depleting from you potentially <laughs> you know what i mean so it's good to make sure that you are uh, filling your own tank up uh regularly um another thought you might want to be exploring um i'm equally as important as everyone else I'm equally as important as everyone else. Why am I saying that? Because I see in a number of my clients, they need to know that in order to uh, be able to embody the rest of what we're talking about here. Okay. We can learn at a very young age that everyone else and everything else is more important than me. And uh, so it's really useful to make sure we, we update that unhealthy belief. That, you know, everyone's equally as, I'm equally as important as everyone else. You also want to explore with your mind detox or embodying or calm cure or just, you know, co conscious conversations. Um, you want to be exploring what kind of relationship you might have with needs and setting boundaries. What, what's happened in the past when you've tried to do that? What's your track record of that? Is, was there, um, if you set a boundary, said what you need, would someone get offended? Would love be taken away? Would you get punished uh, for it? Would you might get rejected by having this healthy boundary, by asking for what you need? Um, I don't know. I'm just saying these are things you might need to explore with yourself and others uh, when working on this kind of in the, in the needs realm. Okay, what's their connection with it? Do you need to cut the links between having your needs met or setting boundaries and cut the links between that and maybe being punished or being rejected or, you know, love being withdrawn or whatever. Do you understand? I know for me, I had a, a subtle belief that said, if I set boundaries, uh, I, I will be, uh, uh, love will be removed. Okay. People won't want to be around me if I'm not saying yes all the time and giving everything and, um, if I say no, then I might not get another chance to help that person or that person might just go, well, you know, bye-bye and I'll never see them again. I had a, a negative association. So I had to recognize that being loved 
and setting boundaries are entirely separate. And again, see if that, if you go, what, that doesn't make sense to me, they're tied to me, for me too. Then again, you might want to explore when they got tied, explore the root cause of when that happened, get to the root of it and um, cut that connection. Okay. So being loved and honoring your needs need not be tied <laughs> anywhere. You can honor your needs and um, all can be well.